Hi learners, welcome to Engineering Clinic and Elements of Network Simulation. So in this session we are going to see a protocol called as Dynamic Source Routing. The name of the protocol is Dynamic Source Routing. In short we call it as TSR protocol. So this protocol have these facilities. Number one is it is self organizing. Number two it is a reactive routing protocol. So reactive routing means whenever the route is have to be created it will select a route according to the nearby nodes. Number three is it is for multi hub networks between different uh, nodes it will just go. Then it has two methods one is a route discovery another is route maintenance. It maintains the routes in two different methods route discovery and route maintenance. Route maintenance usually it will uh, take care of the loop free routing. So this is what it will be doing in the route free route maintenance. The route discovery it will compute the route. Compute the route. Okay. Now in this case let us say the scenario we will see how the DSR works. Okay, so in the DSR what it will do is let us say I have a node number 0, I have node number 2, I have node number 3, let us say node number 4, node number 5, node number 6, node number 7 and uh, node number 8, node number 9 and node number 10. Let us say I want to fix the D as a destination and uh, the node 0 is the source node. So this is how the way the packet has to be transmitted. Okay. So, what I do is I will select the packets here accordingly. So, now since it is all the nodes are been organized, the packet should be go from S to D or in other way we have to go from 0 to 6. The path has to be computed from 0 to 6. Okay. So, whichever path we will be finding out. So, first the source node will feel that it does not know the uh, value. So, it will send 3 values. Okay, so it will send value to node 2, node 4 and node 8. So all the three nodes are nearby nodes, it will send three packets. So the packet contains the data like this. So data will be uh, having unique ID, the source node and the destination node. Unique ID is, uh, let us say let take example of 5 as a unique ID, the uh, node is 0 and it is 6. Similarly, this also gets 5, 0, 6, then 5, 0, 6. So, this is how the way all the three nodes will be getting the packet. Now, once node number 2 receives, it will just check who is the destination, it is uh, 6 and what is the source node, it is 0. So, this packet is called as RREQ, we call it as route request. So, route request is the packet which is being sent like this. Okay. Now what happens, this node number 2 will send a packet to its destination, I mean its near neighbor nodes, it will send a packet here and there are only 2 nodes, so 5 is maybe far away from node 2, so it may not be. So in this case the packet whatever receive will be again the same unique ID 5, now the destination is same 6 but the path will be 0, 2. So 0, 2 means it went 0 here, it 2 here, so 0, 2. Similarly, this node also receives a packet, in this case now here 5, uh, the destination is 6, here 0, comma, uh, 2 will be received here. Now this packet will be discarded because already it has another packet with the same ID number 5, Bo if both are equal then one of the packet will be discarded. So this packet will be discarded. Now again node 4 also will send a packet to node number 5, it will send a packet to node number 8. So in node number 8 it will send a packet like this. Uh, again the same ID 5, now in this case it will be 0, 4 and 6, it will be sending a packet. Similarly here uh, 5, uh, 0, 4 and 6. Now this node will be sent back here, uh, in this case it will be finding out 5, 0, 4, 6 and 6. So one, one this and this are equal, it will fix as one of the roots. So root number 1 is ready, so the root number 1 is ready. But whereas in root number 3 and 7, and root number 3 and 6 also. Now 3 and 3 and 6 is equal, I mean they are in range with each other. So 5, 0, 2, 3, then 6. 
so this case it will reach the packet similarly someone also will be uh, sending a packet here one more packet this seven packet will be like this uh, 5 0 comma 2 comma 3 comma 7 and 6 so this way the packet will be so when all these packets are received the the node d will be having uh, three things so s2 d will be having as of now three routes uh, we have computed so one thing is uh, 0 i mean 2 3 and 6 0 4 uh, 0 4 5 6 0 4 5 comma 6 then 0 2 3 7 and 6 now this is the way all the three routes have been computed so in this case what happens is so either this route will be fixed or this route will be fixed but in the uh, dsr programming what happens is in dsr it stores the all routes it stores all routes or paths we call it as routes or paths will be stored yeah, where it will be stored is it will be storing in a memory called as cache memory so we have root cache and path cache available in dsr so both will be stored so in the next point of time for example if uh, this node number 5 is moving away from node 4 to 6 in that case the link between 4 to 6 will be broken so in that case it will be alternatively taking this route as a second route so always the route will be fetched from the root cache so routes will be fetched from the cache So this is why the DSR is so complex because of the cache memory involved. It is complex and complicated, but it is powerful protocol. Since it is reactive, the route discovery will be happening. The next time when it is happening, only when all routes fail between a source and destination. Okay, so this is the simple uh, explanation of how DSR will be working. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.